Hi, Rock Church. Sister Diane here with you. Oh. Hello. Hi, Rock Church. Sister Diane here with you this evening. Lord bless y'all today. Um, sorry I was a little bit late. I was just trying to find a little quiet place to be able to come on live. And uh, uh, just want to... Uh, welcome everybody tonight to the Rock Church United page, and um, I pray that everybody's doing well this evening, and you've all rested, and um, um, but we can just pray, and before I get started, and um, just want to take some prayers to the Lord, some needs that perhaps are in, in your poem and uh, within the body of Christ, so we'll just take it to prayer in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord God, first of all, Father, for all that you're doing and everything that you are working in our lives, Lord, and I pray today, Father, that for every need, Lord Jesus, that we have for those, Father, that are needing, Father, to, a word of encouragement <clears throat> for those, Father, that are needing, Lord Jesus, a touch in their bodies, Father, healing in their bodies, Lord. I pray for each one of them today, Lord, as... Um, as they call upon your name, as we call upon your name, Father, that you would, Father, uh, hear their prayers, that you would touch their bodies, Lord. Lord, anoint my lips to bring your word today, Father. Prepare our hearts for those who are going to be listening in. And, Lord, that you would speak to us, Lord, today. Speak to our hearts, Lord, today, Father. Speak, Father, to our emotions, our minds, Lord Jesus, as we are needing to hear from you, Lord. And Lord, we give you honor and glory and praise and we give you thanks for who you are, Lord, and what you are doing in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Um, well, I'm not going to take too much time. I'm going to get straight into what the Lord has for us today. And um, turn to your Bibles in Genesis chapter 39 and verses 2 and 5. <clears throat> it says, The Lord was with Joseph, and he prospered, and the Lord gave him success in everything he did, and the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian because of Joseph. And, uh, well, I'm going to speak about Joseph. I'm going to speak about faith. I'm going to speak about, I uh, just want to speak from my heart, from what the Lord has placed in my spirit, and what I've uh, just, um, I just say the word feel, but what I feel the Lord has guided me today for us tonight um, a lot of us know the story of Joseph a lot of us know <clears throat> uh, Joseph was the youngest of one of the youngest before Benjamin and he was the um, favorite son of Jacob um, so um, and he's a biblical character that we always use, you know, when we want to talk about faith, when we want to exemplify about faith and, and his, you know, his, Joseph's faithfulness and uh, his integrity and honor. And, um, and so he portrays that in his life. And so we like to use Joseph. Um, so Joseph was only 17 years old when his father sent him to check on his brothers. And out of jealousy, they captured him and sold him. And the sons, the sons of Jacob told that their, the father that Joseph had been mauled by a wild animal. And so we, when we read the, the story of Joseph and how he was uh, sold by his brothers, how he uh, was a slave and how he was accused falsely uh, by the Potiphar's wife and, and how he was in prison for many years and how even then the Lord showed him grace and showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of, of those around him and those who were over him. And, um, you know, we just see the faithfulness of Joseph. We see the Bible doesn't record anything that, that Joseph was uh, upset or mad or, or, or asking why to the Lord, why the injustice that happened to him and and being sold by his brothers and uh, everything that he faced, all the injustice that Joseph faced in his life. And um, 
<clears throat> Joseph did have a, a call in his life. He had a dream that the Lord had given him and how he was going to be over many people, even over his family. And um, I mean, it, if you really read, go into to Genesis 39 and, and read the life of Joseph and really study, study it, you know, and you will just glean so much from it. And um, uh, I, I, I like to, uh, I like Joseph. I like the, the, and this is a real person, and it's just a, t a story in the Bible, but it's a real person, and, and it really happened to him. And, <clears throat> and, um, and so, you know, and looking at, at Joseph's life and the things that he went through and the faith that he had and, and the um, integrity that he had and the honor that he had, the faith in God and faith in the word of God and, and just who we know who his God was and, and is for him. And then I just, you know, turn that around and put it in my life like, Lord, you know, yes, there's some circumstances that happened in my life. And perhaps some of those circumstances and situations are choices that I've made and things. But also there's some injustice there as well. And maybe not to the extent of Joseph and the things that he suffered. But we can, in a sense, relate when when things don't go uh, the way we think we should go. Or, or, you know, just when life is difficult, when life is hard. And when life is sometimes, you know, just just that difficult and hard, and for us to have faith in God, for us to have um, that integrity of faith, and and knowing that first of all, the Lord loves us and He cares for us, and and we and we read this and we know this and we we read it in the Word of God, and to an extent we well we, we believe it, right? We believe it. We have faith in the Word of God, but sometimes when our faith gets tried, when our faith gets tested, when those hard, difficult situations happen, you know, that's when, when <clears throat> we know really what, uh, how, I guess I could say how strong our faith is, how, how solid our faith is, where our, our faith is, is placed and put in, and uh, how much do, do we tru truly trust God? How much do we truly believe his word? How much do we truly uh, uh, walk by faith? How much do we truly, uh, hold on to the promises of God and, and who God, you know, is for us. You know, uh, Joseph, he went through this difficult time. He went through these portrayals. He went through these things. And, and, um, I don't think he questioned the Lord. I don't think he questioned God. And I don't think he, if he did, the Bible does not record it. So I don't think he questioned God. I don't think he, he, um, his faith wavered in who God was. And, and so, you know his whole journey of, of Joseph's life is is as a, a difficult one until until he gets to where the Lord was destined him to get to this to he got to his purpose. Uh, our walk with God might be a d difficult one; it might be a hard one. But until you get to that purpose and what the Lord is calling you to, then you understand maybe why you went through the things that you went through and the things that. Um, you were taught and the things that you, that your face, where your face was tested. Um, I can't, I can only speak for myself and I can only say what I've experienced, you know, in my own walk with the Lord and, and how my faith has been tested. And, you know, this afternoon, in the Iglesia La Roca, the message that was given today was about um, how we would have good strength as the Eagles. Uh, how would we be renewed? Our strength would be renewed as the eagles, um, and how the eagles they fly above the the storm and and um, you know just we we gotta really and, and when I say we gotta we should and it would behoove us too to really trust in the Lord to really know who God is. Uh, you got to have that relationship. You must have that relationship with God. You, so you know, one, who he is, what is, what does his word say? What are the promises that he has for us? And, and when, when, when you know all that, and when you experience his love and when you experience the goodness of God, when you experience the forgiveness of sins and you experience, you know, every day as you walk with Lord, and I know the just must live by faith. You know, it, 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 it's a walk of faith. It's, 
is, is to be determined, is to be to be sold out, to be uh, fully persuaded, you know, on your relationship with God, your your love for the Lord, fully persuaded in the Word of God, and that no matter what situation you're going to find yourself in, no matter what circumstances you're going to find yourself in, you're going to have this faith. You're going to have this faith in God. You're going to have the faith in the love of God. You're going to have uh, your that trust of the Lord. You're going to have that hope in the Lord. And that no matter what you're facing, that that's, there is anything that's going to deter you. There's nothing that's going to um, make you question the Lord. And I just really feel today that, honestly, um, we have to, we must, and not only understand, but accept, believe, trust in, in, in God and believe in his word, you know, the enemy will make you question. Circumstances, maybe I'm not going to put it even on the enemy. Circumstances are, will make you question, will make you uh, wonder, you know, does the Lord really love me? Does the Lord really care? Is he really, is he really for me, you know? And um, you question these things. Um, the Bible doesn't say anything about Joseph questioning doesn't say um, well the injustice that that Joseph went through you know I also think about Job you know and and how he lost all his, all his wealth lost his health lost his children uh, those are difficult things those are hard things but Job never cursed the Lord he never died the Lord what did he say though he slay me you know though he slay me I will worship him though he slay me you know, continue to believe and trust in him. Um, I'm not sure what it takes to get there. What does it take? It takes a, it, what does it take to get there? That's a question we should ask. What does it take to get there to where, where Job was? What does it take to get there where, jo where Joseph was? What does he get to take there that we are fully persuaded, that we fully trust God, that we fully believe his word, that we fully, without doubt, without fear, and I believe that it's just the love of God being made perfect in us, um, having that relationship, understanding that he is our Heavenly Father, understanding that he is with us, that he is, will not leave us nor forsake us, understanding that the Lord cannot lie, understanding you know, it's, it's all, all this combination. And, and the only way you're able to get there is by knowing who God is, is by seeking him, calling in his name, seeking him, get into the word, get into your prayer closet. Um, there's going to come to a time where, you know, our faith will be tested. You probably will be tested in, a, in, a, in a, a place that you've never been tested before. And a circumstance will come that you've never been in, been in that circumstance, a difficult circumstance. And uh, you got to rest in the Lord. You got to believe in the Lord. It's it's something that you grow into. You grow in it. You it's not going to happen for you overnight. But as you grow in God, as you grow, and as you see where the Lord's His hand has been upon you, when you see where He's brought you from and where where He's taken you, and you see you begin to you see your you get, your life begins to unravel and the purpose of of, of the Lord has for you begins to unravel before you and you understand now why you might went through some things and now you understand why how difficult some situation was and you begin to gain wisdom you begin to gain knowledge you get to you get to of course have experience uh, the love of God the grace of God the mercy of God you get to experience all these things and as you experience and as you grow your faith is more even more so solid your faith is even with you know it's not going to waver so easily it's not going to uh, the, the hindrances we're going to are going to not be there obstacles are i'm not going to really matter you know much because you know who your god is you know who your heavenly father is and so today i just really want to touch a little bit of subject about faith and our our, our trust in him and and the word of god and getting it to know god 
That's the key. We have that relationship with God. We we must, we definitely need to have that relationship with God. Uh, without it, you're not able to grow. And um, our church, uh, love you much. And just want to, you know, come on here and, and speak a little bit what's on, what, what the Lord has placed in my spirit. And um, I just pray that this word does just uh, not only grows, but also would be a word that you're able to to use tomorrow. You're able to look back when you're going through that difficult time, when you're going through that situation that's, um, that's hard and your face is tested. And when your circumstances try to question the Lord and the, and the Lord's love for you. So I pray the Lord bless you today, and in Jesus' name, bye.